<laughs> hey everyone, welcome to today's Lunch and Learn. You're gonna link your way to success today. And hopefully we're gonna find out what people are having for lunch today. Vanessa, how are you today? How, what's going on in California? <laughs> what are you having for lunch? Right now, I just have a little bit of tea. I haven't had lunch yet. Uh, I'm not planning on having lunch for another couple of hours. So uh, we'll see. I'm not really sure, Joe. I'm hoping that I have some sort of salad or something in there. What's everyone else eating? <laughs> I don't know. I'd surely like to know. Tacos are on the top of my list, like a real favorite. I don't know why I ever moved out of California because, you know, there's a taco joint on every corner. We have the best tacos. We have the best tacos. And wow. I took you to that place down the street from my house that has like, not only do they have like really good tacos, but they have excellent margaritas. Uh, yes, they do. I can account and uh, attest for both of them. I, I I went to the bottom of at least three bowls of chips, to, to say the least. Okay, I went right to the bottom. Like like I know I'm not sharing. I'm sorry. I exactly, exactly. Hey, Brenda, how are you? Uh, Gail's with us too. Awesome. Having a little bit of a hard time watching the uh, chat here. Happy Wednesday, lunch later for me. No idea right now. I'm with you, Gail. I am with you. I have no idea what I'm going to have for lunch. Uh, Whew, I, don't I feel like I barely good. got past breakfast. <laughs> there you go. I get to eat with a bunch of vets today, so it should be quite fun. No telling oh, what we'll be having. That'll be awesome. Jill. Oh. Hey, Jill. On my way to Lazy Dog. Oh, nice. Okay. The Lazy Dog Cafe where you can take your dog. Seriously? Oh, yeah. It's badass. They got this out so outdoor seating environment, you know, it's got oh. misters and everything. And there's a little, they put bring a little bowl for your dog. They'll, you can order food for your dog, the whole thing. Very oh, cool. that's awesome. Do they have a menu for the dogs? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I should yeah. tell my lazy dog about that. <laughs> All right. We have Let's a Facebook user. Sorry, Facebook user. We can't see your name because you haven't registered with StreamYard. But uh -huh. we have a Facebook user having a PB and J and an orange. Uh, Juliet, lunch will be a turkey burger, sweet potato, and asparagus. Oh, that sounds amazing. How healthy is that, that right? Easy. Yum. Oh, boy. Coffee, lunch, and learn the best. There you go, Karen. Well, let me tell you, Joe, I think it's time we get started. You know, we try to chitter chatter on the front end of this because we want people to be able to join us. And we're doing this live and we're live streaming to YouTube. And we're live streaming to the Facebook groups that um, that we have here at Mailbox Power. But I do think that people have had the opportunity to jump on. So I think we need to jump right into our content. Let's get to it. Go, Vanessa. Push the button. All right. All right. Here we go. <laughs> so let's start with the fact that we can talk about linking your way to success all we want. But first, we have to tell you, what Mailbox Power is all about. Why are we using the mailbox in the first place? And Joe, I know that you're a huge fan of getting out of the inbox and into the mailbox. And tell us a little bit of why. I am a bit bullish on the mailbox to say the <laughs> least, no doubt about it. Well, listen, when you look at these things, it is really, it, it should just be hitting you upside the head. High impact, right? Is an email high impact? No. Am I telling you to not send emails? No, I'm not saying that either. Continue down that path. But what I am saying is if you use the mailbox, the impact is, uh, it's immeasurable. It is super huge. And the response rate, when you use our technology and use a merge field, oh boy. And you'll see through this uh, presentation that we're calling out merge field, fast and efficient. Oh, oh, I want to talk about automation. I want to talk about being the Ron Popeil of direct mail. Like, said it and forget it. I mean, come on. And by the way, who was the last time you felt rejection from a piece of direct mail and using the mailbox? Probably has never happened. So no. It helps your soul. See? It's just perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and it's considered passive marketing. So it's not direct in your face. Come by today. I need you as a customer or, you know, anything like that. It's cost effective. 37 cents to send out a four by six postcard. Who are we kidding around here? Who are we Ooh. kidding? Ooh, I talked to somebody this morning. She sent out in the promotional products world. At, she sent out 100 postcards, which cost her $37, resulted in $3,000 in business. That's why we use the mailbox, right? Yes. That, that's a deal. That is a yeah. deal. 
Anyway, I think we covered the automation and personalization. Too. You you spoke to the personalization. I do want to point out one of the items that we have on the screen right now is what we call a gigagram, which is an extra large card. And you can customize not just the card on the inside, which has plenty of real estate for you to cover, but also the envelope on the outside. Can you imagine there's nobody that is going to receive something that looks like that and just ignore it, right? They're going to open it every single time. So you can do that with our regular size cards too, but these gig gigagrams make a massive impact. Yes. So Joe, the big question is how will the mailbox power help you, your business grow? How will it help your business grow? Because I know there are a lot of people out there right now that may have small businesses or they're uh, realtors with an agency or they're insurance agents or they're in all walks of life, including network marketing, including direct sales. There are so many different people that have businesses that can benefit from mailbox power. But there's a certain thing that we coach in terms of what people should be doing on a daily basis in terms of getting into people's mailboxes. Yes, a hundred, hundred percent agree. And you look at this list, you know, how will it help you? I, can I just put this in the easiest, uh, as simplest sentence as possible? Uh, actually a question. What do your customers currently experience? Yep. What is the customer experience? I got to tell you, there are so many, there are so many business owners listening right now. They're probably just going sheet white, like, oh my God, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Or think about, think about this. This is so common, right? Do you have an actual relationship with your insurance agent or do you just see this? Here's your premium notice. Here's your premium notice. Here's your premium notice. Here's your premium notice. Well, I don't want, what about, hey, here's your birthday card. Here, thank you for your business. Oh, policy review time. I, I mean, you look at, when you talk about prospecting, winning back lost customers, recognition, retention, hitting them on a birthday or an anniversary for 50 cents plus postage, Yes, I'm talking about birthdays right now, again. Yes, birthdays and anniversary, the time of when they became a customer. Can you imagine, you know, doing business with somebody like that as a customer and all of a sudden they are just loving on you no matter what. Yeah. And that's the last piece, building strong relationships because it's not transactional anymore. When you start sending them things in their mailbox, you are changing, you are morphing your business from a transactional business to a relationship business. And that's that's it. That's that's who we are. It, it, and we take a lesson from the luxury brands out there who have talked about building their client list for years and years and years. And they yeah. not only welcome people in um, to their showrooms. I think about Chanel in New York City, for example, welcoming you in. Would you like a glass of champagne? Here, sit down on the sofa. Let us bring the merchandise to you. Like yes. that is how, that is the experience. That's wonderful when you're in front of people, but you will also get a thank you card from them. You will also get a birthday card from them. They know how to take care of people. So if they know that at the luxury brand level, why aren't we doing that at our level? We want people to feel like every time they interact with our business, they are cared for, they are respected, they are valued. And if you can convey that to them, you've got it made. Uh, greed couldn't have been better said. Thank you. See, that's so, why we're doing this together. I have to bring smarter people than me. <laughs> so it all sounds good. And you know, you're sitting there listening to this going, oh yeah, that sounds great. I'd love to be able to do this, but I don't have time, right? So time's an issue for a lot of people. And the biggest question that we get is what's the easiest and most effective way for me to send cards and gifts? And we're going to share that with you in just a second. First, uh, I want to talk about some of the things you should or could be doing with Mailbox Power. Awesome. First of all, prospecting new customers. This is a simple postcard. This is a simple postcard. And one of the coolest tools that we have here at Mailbox Power is a build a mailing list tool. So that is something that allows you to target specific geographical areas, specific demographics, so that you can send a message out to people that would that it would resonate with. You can narrow it down into your exact target market and send something out to them 
And again, Joe, we offer those free four by six postcards. So they're only paying postage on sending this out once they've uh, built that mailing list and purchased the mailing list, right? Yes, that is correct. And I I'm in love with this right here. I'm in love with this for so many reasons because there's so many beauty consultants out there and so many different businesses that, and, and hold on, how many of you guys, 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 how many of you have seen this, you know, when your woman comes home and she's got lipstick on her hand, right? That she's been, you know where she's been. And I look at this and go, oh my gosh, we're targeting these people. We're using, uh, you know, a merge field to put their name on the front of the postcard. And we're actually talking about a real world relevant thing, a problem. Like, right, you go to buy lipstick and you get home and the lighting's different and it didn't just doesn't look the same. And exactly. There it is. The card that reaches out and touches that person. It's yeah. Beautiful. And and think about that. Joe's talking about the beauty industry right now, but this could be for any industry. Think about what people, the challenges people face in your business. The challenges right now, I'm thinking, oh, insurance. I wonder if I'm insured. I wonder if I have enough insurance for my home, for my car, for my mm -hmm, XYZ mm -hmm. collection, you know? And so things like that. Think about the questions that people ask as it relates to your business and how can you solve that for them in a postcard? So, Love all that. right, new relationships. Joe, I know you're a huge fan of sending out the nice to meet you card and, uh, and I think it's fantastic. But building those new relationships and being able to do this, and we're going to show you this in a minute, guys, being able to do this simply by sending a link. Once you've got once you've got all this set up, all you have to do is send a link to that person and they fill in their information. And all of these things that you're seeing on the screen right now are automatically triggered by that link that you send. I have been using nice to meet you for so long now. <laughs> I have so many shout outs on social media for, for just doing this. You meet somebody new. Yeah. What do you do? How do you solidify that relationship? How do you make sure they really, 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 really know you actually want to work with them? Yeah. Oh, that's you put a package in their mailbox because <laughs> that does it. Because who else has done that? Yeah. If I had to yeah. raise a hand in front of a crowd of 100,000, how many hands would go up to say, oh, oh yeah, I get nice to meet you all the time. Yeah. Yeah. You do. yeah. Yes. <laughs> You're definitely going to stand out. One of the other things that we talk about a lot, Joe, is winning back customers, especially right now. Your yeah. business may have been lacking over the past year for various reasons, not the least of which is we've all been like locked inside our homes. So sending a, a, a card to them, either a, a greeting card or a postcard to them and inviting them to take another look at whatever your business is, inviting them to come back. If you have a restaurant, inviting them like something cute, like our cheesecake missed you. You know, there's so many things that you could send to welcome people back to your business. Yes, most definitely. And, you know, a, a, a lot of folks don't understand the value proposition around trying to win back lost customers. They already know you. They already had trust with you. And you don't know why they left. I mean, you know, I used to run a sales team and I said, listen, people die, people move, people get married, people have babies. Stuff happens. And if they don't know you exist and they stop using you and all of a sudden you let them know again, uh, you could win. And by the way, I have see somebody who says, I don't understand. Send the link. We're going to get to that here in just one moment. Yeah. So hold tight. <laughs> hold on your chair. It's coming. We're just telling you why you would send a link. We're going to get there yes. right in yes. just a few minutes. The other thing is recognition, whether you're talking about employee recognition or customer or client recognition, everybody likes recognition. Everybody likes to feel appreciated. Everybody likes that pat on the back for a job well done. So that's another area that you could be uh, and you can automate all of this. You can automate all of this, including your recognition with merge fields and, and all of the things that we're going to be talking about in just a second. Another thing is retaining customers, retaining customers by recognizing their anniversary, either their anniversary, their real life wedding anniversary or their anniversary with you as a client, as a customer, their anniversary of employment. There are so many different things that we use that uh, anniversary card for. And then Joe, your favorite subject. 
Oh, are we going to talk about birthdays? Can I talk <laughs> about birthdays? Oh, get me going on birthdays. Goodness gracious. Yes, birthdays and half birthdays. And yeah. no stickering out there. It's probably one of the best tools we have is a half birthday card. It is. So again, these are all of the reasons to reach out to people. Now let us show you how very, very simple it is because you're probably thinking there's no way I can keep up with all this. Yes, you can. And okay. here's how. This is a doozy right here. My goodness. Okay. So we're going to start talking about that link and, and really uh, getting you a really good understanding of what's going on. So right before us, this is a multi-touch campaign that sends a shipment every 90 days for two and a half years. Two and a half years, every 90 days. This was built for realtors. It's called the Ultimate Closing Gift. Now, this thing is chocked full of goodness. We help you ask for referrals. Uh, we have gifts that are very appropriate for the homeowner, you know, like a Home Depot card with a, uh, a greeting card that says, hey, I know you've been in your home for a while and I'm sure the honeydew list is growing. Here's a little help for you. But anyway, we have an automated system. And what does that even mean, automated? What that means is you don't have to go into the system every 90 days and go send this. You have to do one thing, one thing. You either A, have to click on the link that's associated with this campaign and fill out the person's name and address, or you send this link to them and ask them to fill it out. Once that is done, within 10 minutes of that being done, this campaign will be executed and the very first order will be of processed. And it'll go out the next business day as always with mailbox power. So it's about this link. And that link is merely, it's simple folks. It's so simple. All we're doing is adding a name to an address book group. That is it. There is, if you want to call it magic, uh, you can. I've called it auto magic uh, because it really mm -hmm. is auto magic. If I fill out this link, like that nice to meet you I talked about. Yes, definitely. Just click and fill it out yourself or send it to your customer. And when they do it, it's done. It really takes all the work out of you. I save these links. Vanessa, I have these links in one of my notes on my computer and yeah. on my phone. And I'm constantly able to grab these links and use them anytime I want. So let me break it down for people, Joe, because I really want people to understand what we're talking about with this link. So you have created a campaign and a campaign is just either one thing that's going to go out automatically or several things that are going to go out automatically over time. So that's what we define as a campaign. It could be cards, it could be gifts, it could be a combination, it could be postcards, it could be a lot of different things, but it's whatever you set to go out. Again, it could be a single shipment or multiple shipments. That's the campaign. So in this case, you have the Real Estate Ultimate Closing Gift campaign. In your address book, you would have a group called either closing gift campaign or people I, I've sold a house to, right? Or so, real estate ultimate closing gift, right? Yeah, or <laughs> ultimate closing gift. We suggest you name it the same thing, but, but it basically that group of people in your address book is people you've sold a house to, right? Because you want to link them up with this campaign that's going to send them these closing gifts over, uh, over a period of, like Joe said, this particular one goes for two and a half years. So you are going to stay top of mind with that person long beyond the transaction date, long beyond the, the anniversary of the transaction date. So you are going to send the link to that group, to this person, they're going to fill it out, or you can fill it out and add them to the, the correct group in your address book. But the link it, it, the minute they fill that out, they're going straight into this campaign. They trigger the campaign for themselves. And these gifts mm -hmm. and cards and postcards and whatever you set up start arriving at, on whatever schedule you have designated for that particular campaign. So I hope that clarifies some of it. So when we're talking about sending a link over here on the right side, that little blue area right now, that will show up at the top of any group that you create in your contacts. There's a different link for each group that you create. And depending on which link you send people, that's what triggers, that's what puts them in the group, which triggers the campaign. 
So I hope that makes sense to everyone. Let me show a different campaign. That's the ultimate closing gift. Here's another one, uh, customer onboarding campaign. So this happens to be for a network marketer who wants to make sure once they got a customer, and we all know what, how much fun that is in network marketing to try and get customers <laughs> and reps to join your team. They have a customer who's excited about their product. Now they trigger immediately. As soon as that customer signs up, they send this link that triggers. And, and this particular group is their customer onboarding group. They send that link and the person is added to the group and this campaign is triggered automatically, automatically. So they never have to touch this again for a solid year. They don't have to go and look at this. They don't have to tell it to send anything. It's automatically triggered by that link. Love, love, love this. Hey, Vanessa, I just looked at some numbers. Yeah. Did you know that 80% of the orders that went out of the building today were because of this, the automation? Yeah. It was an automated send, 80%. We are like, but hey, listen, we're for the busy business professional. If you don't have time to figure this stuff out and you don't want to sit down every day and pound out these cards, this is the mechanism. This, yeah. this, these campaigns and these automated sends, make sure you stay top of mind. Exactly. And like, I love what you call it, Joe. I love the automatically, yes. <laughs> automatic, automatically auto magically yeah. goes out. So here's what one of those campaigns looks like. This is Joe's actual nice to meet you campaign, which is this card and some popcorn, which is very cool. But look, the card is personalized. The popcorn is personalized. And the coolest part about all this, you're saying, oh, I add them to a campaign. That's not very personal. It's super personal because their name is all over this. You're using merch fields on this and they see their name in lights. They see their name all over it. And there could be nothing more personal. It looks like you've gone the extra mile with that person. And you have, you've added them to a campaign, but it's not as much work as they think it is. That's exactly right. Now, now this is my nice to meet you campaign. Exactly what I'm sending out this year. I'm sorry if uh, I just met you and you get this in the mail and I just ruined the surprise. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> all right, I'm going to share, share this. I'm going to stop sharing that for a minute because this is so important uh, to me. I don't leave the parking lot of a physical meeting and I touch nothing after a Zoom call. If I've just met someone, what I do, this is a business card. I take the business card. I'm sitting in the car. I click on the link that's in my notes for nice to meet you and I put the information in. I don't send it to them, I fill it in. Now there are so many people that I will send the link to as well and saying, hey, it was great to meet you and I do love to send gifts. Uh, would you mind clicking on the link below and, and filling it out? Now that works as well. But I guess what we are trying to say is linking your way to success, it's that link. You don't have to ever log into the system. Once this stuff is set up, it's done. You right. literally click on the link, you fill out their address information and put them in your system. And if you don't have time for that, you just send them the link. And if they fill it out, boom, it's done. The order will just happen. It's jaw dropping for a lot of people that understand what we do or understand the business model that we have. But all of a sudden they go, what? All I have to do is fill out the information on that link. I don't have to go log into the system and do blah, 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 and add to cart and, and select and check out. No, you don't have to do any of that. So you set it up as auto magic. And that's kind of why this whole thing works. Sorry, rampage off to the, uh, all right, anyway. <laughs> no, it's so true though, Joe. And, and mm -hmm. the, the cool part about this, so we already have some campaigns that are pre-designed for you. There are lots of free campaigns. There are some paid campaigns. There are free campaigns that you can install with a click of a button. If you're in real estate, if you're an insurance agent, if you're in network marketing, general business campaigns, literally it's a click of a button that you can install those campaigns and get this type of thing set up so that you can, uh, so that you can plug into this and start saving time and money. Joe, I know one of the things that you're just a little bit excited about is birthdays and half birthdays. <laughs> You slipped that slide in here. You did. Okay. 
Got it. Yes. <laughs> um, let me get my soapbox out for a moment. Um, birthday, half birthday. You know, I tell everybody if you just do two things with your customers, just two. You send them a thank you, uh, with then uh, thank you card and gift, and profusely thank them for their business. And number two, you recognize them on their birthday and half birthday. And I get a lot of snickers and and you know chuckles when I say half birthday because none of us have celebrated our half birthday since we were twelve or eleven or ten. Mm -hmm. But here we are. When was the last time you received a half birthday card? Yeah, probably never, unless you know me, Vanessa, and you know several a handful of other, you know, mailbox power users for fifty cents plus postage to put a half birthday card in your customer's mailbox that they are going to open and go, oh my God, I didn't even know it was my half birthday. You put a smile on their face and they know, they remember you. Yeah. And that is it. And birthdays and half birthdays, such a big deal, especially in the auto magic world. All I have to do to add somebody to my birthday link is one of two things. I click on that link myself and fill out their information or I copy, paste, and paste that into a text, message, email, whatever it is, whatever digital medium I'm using to communicate uh, with my customer, they fill it out and we're, it's done, 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 like done. So that for those of you, for those of you sitting there saying, well, I've got thousands of people in my customer database and there's no way I have time to collect all their addresses. Yeah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> send them an email with that link and have them fill it out and they're doing the work they're filling out the information they're they're completing everything in the database if you already have their information if you already have their birthday if you already have addresses and phone numbers and emails and things like that you can upload your contacts to our contact manager but it's super easy to do this um, I think, Joe, a lot of people, for a lot of people, when we're talking about all of these different ways to keep in touch, it seems overwhelming until you actually do one thing and you get that first phone call where somebody says, gosh, thank you so much for the birthday card. It's the only real card I received this year. Oh, how many times do we hear that? I'm telling you, because we're all like socially connected and everyone's jumping all over social media, wishing people a happy birthday. But when you get that call that says, thanks, that's the only card I received this year. First of all, it breaks my heart and I want to put them in a big campaign after yeah. that. <laughs> I want them to get something every month after that. But seriously, though, I mean, we hear that a lot. That is not a stretch. We hear that very, very often. Or somebody that says, oh, it, be, it was the only card I received outside my own family or something like that. I mean, it makes a huge impact on people. Their birthday is their special day. It's the day they arrived on the planet, right? And for you to recognize that, that means a lot to them. Do you have a birthday soapbox now, Vanessa? I feel like I'm kind of on I'm it, it. I'm feeling it. You climbed right up on that thing. I kind of did. I kind of did. But seriously, I think from what I've seen, though, from the response that people get from birthdays, just adding people to a birthday campaign and even the half birthday campaign, they get a huge response. It makes them look really caring. And, and really like they, they pay attention to people and it takes the, the perception of them and what they do to a whole new level for people. So, yeah, we I'm on the so I could go I could go another hour on this topic. So, Joe, you know, we talked about something and uh, and well, I'll come back to that in a minute. Let's get to Mary Kay. Oh, and this slide, one of my favorites. OK. Mary Kay Ash. If you don't know who Mary Kay Ash is, I want you to put in your mind pink Cadillacs and Mary Kay Cosmetics. This is the brilliant woman behind Mary Kay Cosmetics. She said, everyone has an invisible sign hanging from their neck saying, make me feel important and never forget this message when working with people. And if you will put in your mind when you're having a phone conversation with your customer, how am I gonna make them feel important? What am I gonna do to make them feel important? How am I going to make them feel like the most important person on the planet to me and to my business? Because once you've done that, they're a customer for life. They're not going to cheat on you. They're not going anywhere. They are right with you. Uh, no doubt about it. And this brilliant, brilliant woman, brilliant statement. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. Love it. Yeah. 
So we'll thank, you for, thank you for keep adding this to my slide deck, Vanessa. I appreciate that. It's always there, Joe. Always, because <clears throat> it's what we're all about. It's it's really what we're all about in terms of making people feel important, making your customers feel valued, uh, yes. your employees feel valued. If you can just do that, like I said before, you've got it made. So yes. what's next? What's next is sign up for an account if you don't already have one choose your campaigns that you'd like to install, and then start collecting addresses and sending gifts to people using the links that we've talked about in here. And Joe, I know that we talked about giving a special gift to people today um, that is more about how to present a link to somebody. Because for some people, you'll send them a link and they're like, ah, oh, what's this? I, you know, I don't want to be, I don't want to get spammed. So there's um, some text and some things that we, uh, have put together suggested texts that you can send to people when you send them that link that either adding them to your birthday club or your customer appreciation club or whatever it may be. We have that um, so that people can get that and, uh, and be able to know exactly what to say to people. It's scripted. Um, you can obviously personalize it and make it whatever you want to make it. But Joe, in order for them to get that script, they're going to have to comment on this video and we're going to have to send them that, that script and private message. We will be sending you guys a link. We want you to know how this works. So we'll be sending you a link so that you can automatically uh, get signed up to get that script that we have ready for you. Actually, I'm gonna put the link in the chat right now. Oh, perfect, perfect. So the link is now in the chat. And if you will click on that link, you will find out how we are linking our way to success with you. Uh, and uh, Vanessa, didn't we discuss that somebody who fills out that link is going to get a really special gift? We did. We did, right? Exactly. I thought we did. So listen, folks, doesn't matter what day this is. Or if this could be two years from now. Fill out that link. If you'll fill out that link, you're going to get something in the mail from Vanessa and I. Yeah. And one of you is going to get a very special gift uh, because that's what we do here. Awesome. Somebody said, I'm not seeing the link. The link is in the chat. So if you're looking at the chat uh, yep. and they're wondering if it's showing up different in the Facebook group comments. It may be. It may be. And yeah. I'll go back and try and add it to all the Facebook groups as well to make sure that it's there. Awesome. 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 So Joe, uh, we are wrapping it up. <laughs> so what? the bottom line to all of this is that Mailbox Power makes it easy and efficient to build strong relationships uh, all, all over the place, personal relationships, customer relationships, employee relationships, whatever, uh, whatever relationships that you are looking to fortify this is one of the ways that we suggest doing that. And again, like Joe said on the very beginning of this, we're not suggesting you give up anything you're doing. We're suggesting that you add this to your arsenal of things that you're already doing to fortify those strong relationships that you want to build with people. Yes, definitely. Uh, it is amazing uh, that we do have this auto magic service. It really, remember, we cater to the busy business professional. We don't want you to be a mailbox power expert at all. I want you to be the expert realtor, the expert insurance agent, the expert handyman, the expert painter, the expert, whatever it is that you do, stay that expert. Use the simple system to communicate with your customers through the mailbox. If you love on them, I will promise you one thing. They won't cheat on you, right? And nobody wants anybody cheating on them, all right? <laughs> and number two, they'll probably send their friends and what more could you ask for? That's what we do. So awesome. Thank you, everybody, today uh, for your time. Thank you, Vanessa, for being with me. One more thing, Joe. I know yeah. that there are people that are saying, I need to know more about this. You've piqued my interest. Uh, we have a lot of tutorials on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash mailbox power. There are other lunch and learns just like this one teaching you about all kinds of things, but there are tutorials on there. We also have live trainings every single day of the week, uh, Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. So uh, just look on any of the things on YouTube and you'll be able to find all that information. Again, youtube.com forward slash mailbox power.
perfect, perfect. Okay, folks, I'm gonna go start getting these uh, this link in there because I want you to get something from Vanessa and I. I really, really do, and you're gonna you're gonna dig it. It's really good stuff. So <laughs> awesome! All right, everybody, have a great day. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Joe. Bye.